And when you're talking about his best performances in a Spurs show, you have to look at that Madrid game at mm. home when we won 3-1. He's literally got nearly everything you want in a midfielder. There is no better feeling than seeing one of your own coming through the ranks. Harry Winks. What more can we say about this guy? We haven't already said in a lot oh, of our right, videos. Little H. L made his debut in 2015 in the mm. Europa League. I remember I think it might have been Carabag or something stupid like that. But he was one of those players that Pochettino really took a liking to in, early on in his career. Um, he really impressed him with his quick passing, his, his ability to kind of control the game, to control the pace of the game from midfield in the centre. Winks' passing is the most underrated aspect of his game. We know how much Tottenham fans like a scapegoat when things aren't going their way, and Winks has been that player for a while now. He's criticised for all his passing the ball sideways, and while he does do that, you can see here his range of passing is exceptional, and it's only going to get better. To have this level of understanding of the game and vision at just 23 is very exciting, and he isn't phased by anything. He's made the step into Champions League football and international football look easy. I personally think... He is already one of the better midfielders in the Premier League um, and he's still got so much time ahead of him. He's 23 years old. He's still got a good 10, 13 odd years in him. You can buy all the superstars for millions and millions of pounds as much as you like. But there is no better feeling than seeing one of your own coming through the ranks. It's evidence that your club are going in the right direction that they're not just trying to buy the league, that they are trying to culture and develop young talent from local areas to the club. Harry Winks embodies all of that. A young boy from Emma Lempstead, who's a lifelong Spurs fan. He don't get a better than that. It tells him how much he's grown as a player in these kind of Champions League games, which we've seen him play in the Real Madrids and the Barcelonas, and completely run the midfield in these kind of games. In 2016, Hemel did born Harry Winks, age 20, makes his first team debut against fierce London rivals West Ham United. Latching onto a loose ball, he fires it into the back of the net. A dream debut. He turns, he runs, pushing away his teammates, making straight for his manager, Maurizio Pochettino, who greets him with open arms. A great moment for the team, a great moment for the fans, a great moment for Harry Winks. Obviously, the moments that stand out really in Harry Winks' um, time at Spurs so far is obviously his debut against West Ham. What a moment that was. Him starting a game in, in a London derby oh, against... Two. Yeah, well, winning 3-2 in a London derby in 2016. Um, Harry Winks scored his first Premier League start. Do you and remember, he, do you remember he hit the ground running. watching that game? Yeah, we were watching it with my grandpa and, and Jace, all, Uncle Jace, the and West Uncle Ham Jace. Fan. Yeah, watching it all together. It was my grandpa's birthday, wasn't it? His 80th birthday, and we were all watching it. And uh, West Ham take the lead, and they go one in up, and then Harry Winks saves us right at the death, and everyone's kind of jumping all over my uncle and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and then obviously Harry Kane won it right at the end, yeah, didn't yeah. he? And it was, um, but Harry Winks that celebration. I've never seen passion in a player's eyes, and ran right, watching... straight to Pochettino, didn't he? And, yeah. But you could tell the meaning of that celebration. You know, he was. In that celebration, he was just basically saying thank you so much to Pochettino for letting him have his break. You could see such a bond there between player and manager, and it's so great to see. Never seen that. Uh, of all the Pochettino hugs he's ever given someone, I think yeah. that's probably the biggest hug of them yeah. all. And probably. the passion in Winks' face when he scored, I've never seen a celebration like it. You could just see the whole ground lift, and just so, everyone was just so happy for him. One of our own. Everyone was singing Harry Winks, one of our own, after, the, after he scored the goal, in reminiscence of the Harry Kane chant. And he clearly, literally, at that point, he became a massive part of the Spurs squad. Winks' ability to read the game and break up attacks has definitely been a massive part of Spurs' play in the last year or so. He likes to sit behind the attacks and kind of pull the strings from there with his clever passing, but I think it also puts him in a, in a really good position to break up counter-attacks. I mean, we all saw that uh, amazing clip of him stopping Jack Grealish's counter-attack when we played Villa in the opening game of the season, but that definitely wasn't a one-time thing. His, his understanding of the game and his ability to read what will happen next is sensational. And you can almost say he has the knowledge of someone who's been playing the game for 10 plus years, but it's amazing that he still is only 23. 
And something that I've noticed personally is you can kind of see the effect that Moussa Dembele has had on his game, not just in the way he shields the ball when he's in possession, but also how he goes into tackles. He uses his body so well, and nine times out of ten, he comes out with the ball. And it's great that you can see that someone like Dembele, even though he was coming to the end of his career um, due to injuries and stuff like that, you can see how much he's had an effect on a player coming through the, the Tottenham system. And it's a shame that we will never get to see Harry Wings play, I suppose, consistently with prime Moussa, De Moussa Dembele. But I really have no doubt that Wings can go on to replicate what Dembele did for us and become the really important player that Dembele was. And we have noticed that we haven't missed Dembele as much as we might have uh, in the last two or so years with those injuries. I think there's been a definitely a drop in the midfield since he went to China. But... We've been lucky that we have had Wings to step in in that position and offer something that Dembele did. Obviously not at the same level yet, but he's certainly a player who, as I said, can go on and replicate the player that Dembele became. Uh, Harry Wings' first few games into the Tottenham team was another great example of Maurizio Pochettino showing faith in youth. But uh, the game that really, really displayed Poch's confidence in him was... Uh, against Chelsea, you know, Chelsea who won a 13 game winning run, you know, who looked absolutely unstoppable. We were playing brilliantly well, 2 0 up. Um, and Pochettino makes the decision to bring off um, Moussa Dembele, I think it was, and bring on Winks for the last 25 minutes of the game was seen initially as quite a risky move to put that kind of responsibility in such a high-pressure game on him. Uh, but the calmness and maturity that he displayed to you know, keep hold of the ball well, never loot, waste a pass or you know lose possession sloppily, and to keep his composure in that kind of big game that early on in his career, surely had the makings of a very good star and what we probably had the backing of his manager with him being young and him wanting like him being expected to grow into one of the better midfielders in the Premier League if not the world Pochettino is of course one of the best not if not the best manager with youth so he's obviously in safe hands he's gonna grow into one of the best midfielders in the world and I'm very excited to see how he turns out I can't see him being bad like I don't want people to put too much pressure on him to the point where he he doesn't, he crumbles under pressure to the point there's too much on him and he just can't deal with it. There's just certain players like, certain players you just get too much pressure put on you and it, it doesn't, it's not good for you. Um, now Pochettino has said stuff about young players before that didn't work out and uh, Winks just isn't one of those players. He, Winks is obviously a very skillful player, his work rate's really high, he's talented, he's very energetic as well, which you need. It tells him how much he's grown as a player in these kind of Champions League games, which we've seen him play in the Real Madrid's and the Barcelona's, and completely run the midfield in these kind of games. Yeah, when you're talking about his best performances in a Spurs show, you have to look at that Madrid game at mm. home when we won 3-1. Coming up against Modric and Tony Cruz, who had just won the Champions League back-to-back -back twice. Yeah, twice Modric just win the Ballon d'Or? No, he won the Ballon d'Or the year after, but right. he also won the Champions League. So, they also won so the that Champions was his League. season in within the Ballon d'Or? Yeah, and, he won the, and they won the Champions League that season as well. Um, you know, sp came up against the Spurs side <coughs> full of energy, full of um, you know that that intensity that Pochettino brings to Spurs, and Harry he and Pochettino had the bravery to start Harry Winks in such a big occasion, and he really did not let us down he that game. Let us down he was all. one of the stars of that game. I thought he was definitely in the top three best players in the game, if not man the match for us that game, because he completely bossed that midfield, like you said, against world stars like Luka Modric and Tony Cruz. Um, but then there was the Barcelona performance, you know, at Wembley. I thought he gave a shocking performance in that first 45 minutes. He like got completely overrun by the Barcelona midfield. But what guts it takes to come out for that second half of putting a performance like that in the second half. Yeah. He was hands down the best player on the pitch in that second half. And to, what a turnaround to put in a first half performance like that. It wasn't even his fault, you know. You're coming up against the might of Barcelona and, you know, 
the best midfielders would get completely overrun in that midfield, but he came out in that second half and completely bossed it. It shows his character. Yeah. And that pass as well, for, for in, in, going back to the Madrid game, that pass to Trippier that uh, set up the goal that Deli Alli scored in the first half was mm. absolutely pinpoint. Yeah. You know, if Modric was making that pass, people would be talking about it for a long time. The future for Harry Winks is shaping up to be something special. At 23 years of age, he has already made his way into the Tottenham starting eleven, but also into the hearts of most of the fans. He still has his critics, as most players do, but he has proven them wrong every time he steps onto the pitch wearing a Spurs jersey. If he if he keeps on what he's doing right now, and he lives up to expectations, he will go down as a club legend, and he does realise that. Him being only 23 years old, he has so much football ahead of him at Tottenham. We're so happy to have him, and I think a player who's developed for our academy, I think he's he's really going to be a special player for us. I think central midfield as well is such a big role. And I think here, under Pochettino's tutelage, he's, he's got really good players he can land under. And I'm so happy that we've, we've nurtured a player as good as him and, and that he's so passionate about Spurs. He clearly loves Tottenham as well. Loves you can Tottenham. see that Tottenham through Tottenham born and, through. and bred, man. He's Tottenham born and bred. One of our own. We've got one of our own in Harry Kane. We've got one of our own in Harry Winks. Big H and Little H, you know. Um, I just love them to bits and just for many years to come hopefully he can get over these injury problems that keep reoccurring and if he does I, I back him to be a big big midfielder Don't forget to leave down in the comments below your opinions on the video and Harry Winks as a player for Tottenham both what he's achieved with us so far and going into the future I want to say a big thanks to everyone who's helped me out with this video we are Tottenham TV uh, Ben Spurs 21 lead the Dorset Spur and Tottenham Reese. Um, all their links will be down in the description if you want to go and check them out. But thanks a million to them for helping me out with this video. Um, that's it for this uh, mini documentary on Harry Winks today. Thanks for watching.